With only essential businesses operating in Connecticut, many businesses, big and small, have shut down, and the future for them is uncertain. Channel 3's Mark Robbins explains how the coronavirus may have a long-lasting effect on the commercial real estate market. It's Thursday along the Boston Post Road in Orange, and traffic is light. Although nowadays, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, traffic's always light. The coronavirus has sapped much of the state's day-to-day -day business, and the virus is attacking an already weakened commercial real estate market, according to Mike Ricciatelli of Colonial Properties. The last few years in Connecticut, what we've seen is that the retail and office sectors have been very challenging. Um, the light industrial and multifamily have been the strongest sectors in commercial real estate. With government requests for people to stay at home and minimize activities away from it, the Connecticut family is adapting to its changing world. And that adaptation is leaving businesses with a big hole in operations. People are figuring out that they can work from home and they don't need the, the office footprint that they have right now. Experts are predicting tough times for commercial real estate even after the pandemic ends, in part because technology has effectively made shopping a keyboard art. I think that there's going to be a lot of bricks and mortar that are going to be tough to lease out in our in our area especially. So what will the post road and other areas look like if people are shopping more and more from home? I mean, you still need places to store the things we buy, right? I think that one of the alternative uses for some of the retail could be light industrial or warehouse. Mike says those businesses that do come back looking for traditional space will have the benefit of getting many low bargain basement type steals. Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.